Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Can everybody hear us? Does the sound work? Good morning. Is that? Oh, there we are. Action. Perfect. Good morning, everybody. A huge, huge welcome here at the Sugar Hut. What a fantastic venue. And a massive thank you to Mickey Norcross. What a star. Thank you very much, Mickey, for having us, for hosting us. No better venue here in the Eastern Region, in Brentwood. What an enormous leave vote we had, unbelievably, three years ago. We should not be here, ladies and gentlemen, but we are. So if we're going to do this, let's win it, and let's win it big. Yeah. And it's fantastic also to have the support of Derek. There you are. Wave your hand, Derek. Derek Chisora. Another fan, another supporter. We need more people to put their head above the parapet and to say that they believe in democracy. Now, we at the Brexit Party, it may feel as though we've been around for a long time, but the truth is it's less than five weeks, ladies and gentlemen, less than five weeks since we launched. And let's just have a quick look. Hopefully we've got, uh, have we got the launch video team? Can't see it. Ignore the launch video. We'll carry on. We've got, we have, look, here we are. You want to see it again? It's so good. We bought the DVD. Did you pay for it? <laughs> Not to worry, we can't hear it. But it's an indication. We've had rallies all over the country. We were last night, we were down in the valleys in Wales. Unbelievably, the people who don't support democracy, they wouldn't, they actually lay on the road to prevent us going into the venue. That's how frightened they are about you know, what we are achieving. The establishment is terrified because they know that we are on the right of democracy. Yeah. And here in the Eastern region, I'm incredibly proud to be a candidate with some other great candidates. We'll hear in a second from a couple of them, but you know, we need to make sure we win. We send a very big, clear message back to Westminster. We meant it the first time, leave does mean leave yeah. and so the challenge for all of us in the last seven days we've got to get the vote out we've got to give people trust back in democracy and it is tragic when we hear people say they will never vote again we have to give that confidence back into democracy in this country the mother of all democracies and our first candidate is a real star she knows more about fishing than almost anybody else in the Eastern region. She is the director of the Lowestoft Fish Market Auctions. She's passionate about what restoring the right to our fishing waters can achieve for coastal communities. You know, this is a massive opportunity. In the same way, the whole of Brexit is an opportunity. But fishing the coastal communities is something that is very dear to all of our hearts, but in particular, to our next, our first candidate who's going to speak apart from me. Please give a massive welcome, June Mummery. Hello. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Brentwood. My name is June Mummery and I own the Fish Auctioneers in Lowestoft, Suffolk and represent the East Coast fishing industry. Thank you. I am delighted to be running as one of the Brexit Party candidates for the beautiful Eastern Region. Brexit is a golden opportunity to take back full control of our waters and the fish within it. We have some of the richest fishing grounds in the world which we currently not reaping the benefits of. Full control of our precious ocean once again enables us to begin rejuvenating our suffering coastal communities. The fishing industry creates employment. For every one job at sea, eight more are created on land. In order to catch the fish, we will need to build ships once again. This involves draftsmen, draftswomen, shipwrights, engineers, welders, platers, electricians, just to list a few. We as a country have the ability, we possess the knowledge, 
we now need to grasp this lifeline we are being presented with and so desperately need in order to rebuild a historical industry that has been forgotten about by our governments past and present. In the interest of future food security, we can feed our nation, we can self-sustain. The UK fishing industry could be worth £6.4 billion to our economy and has the potential to be as profitable and sustainable as the likes of Iceland, Norway and Faroe. A staggering 80% of our fish is caught by the EU. What country would give away its ocean, whether it's aggregates, oil and gas, renewable energy or fishing? I am determined to bring home our fishing industry. Our seas belong to each and every one of us standing here today. It's our back garden and we want it back. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. Yesterday, I was out campaigning in Lowestoft and Great Yarmouth with fellow Eastern Region Brexit candidates. Paul Hearn and Edmund Fordham. It was an absolute pleasure to meet with real local people and listen to their points of the current state of not only, only the Eastern region, but the country as a whole. The biggest concern we heard endlessly throughout the day was just how let down the public feel, how they feel betrayed, ignored, and in all honesty, treated with nothing but contempt. Both constituencies in the 2016 referendum voted to leave the European Union and their vote should not be ignored. Democracy is the very foundation of our country, something our ancestors before us fought so hard for. My theory is very simple. What most people want in life is to leave school, get a job, fall in love and live happily ever after. Such a simple concept that the UK should be achieving. The nation has put their faith in our current Conservative government, trusting them to represent, take care of their country and look after the people's interests. Our government has failed the people. Our country needs change and the only political party to do that successfully is the Brexit party. <laughs> So please vote for the Brexit Party on May the 23rd. Together, let's change politics for good. Thank you. Isn't she great? We're so lucky to have June's passion, her experience and her wisdom in such an opportunity. There are so many areas of opportunity for Brexit. We need to just remind the whole country constantly, this is the biggest opportunity for reform this country has had in a couple of generations. And there is a huge appetite out there. People truly believe in what we stand for, which is let's change politics for good. The appetite for serious political reform so that people have trust in their leaders and their politicians has never been greater. The opportunity reform for reform has never been stronger. And that's why the establishment are so worried, because they know that actually the people want change. To, so to our next speaker for the Eastern region, another star, he studied actually international relations. So he knows a thing or two uh, about you know, what goes on um, in Brussels. And it's wonderful to have him, he's been campaigning uh, for Brexit and the Eurosceptic cause for many, many years. Please give a huge welcome, Michael Heaver. Hello, Brentwood. How are we doing? Let's be having you. Right, uh, I'd just like to first of all say thank you very much to Mickey Norcross for the use of this fantastic facility. I'm a big fan of the Sugar Heart. It really is proper stuff and I thoroughly recommend it. And it's great to see so many of you here today. Seven days to go. That's all it is until we get our vote in the European elections. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, 
what the Brexit party's been doing. We've never seen it in this country before, and I want you to understand that you are part of what we are doing. I think it's over 100,000 registered supporters for this party now, a party that not that long ago didn't even exist. It is quite remarkable, and it shows you that we will not be ignored by those in Westminster. We refuse to be ignored, and when you look at the opposition, I mean, really, I mean, look at what they're doing, these, these pathetic Twitter attacks. Last night, I believe in Wales, they were trying to shut down a road. They will not silence us. You know, I was on the Sunday Politics East, and uh, the opposition, they had Change UK on there. Quite why they, they were on there, I have no idea. They seem to have the same policy as the Labour Party, which is a complete and utter stitch-up. Because they want us to vote again. They want us to have a second referendum. And guess what? They don't even want an exit on WTO terms to be on the ballot paper. They want Remain or Remain. It's quite unbelievable. And when you look across Essex, if you look at Brentwood, 59% of people in 2016 voted to leave. A remarkable close to 80% turnout. Look at Castle Point in Essex as another example. A 73% vote to leave on a 75% turnout. And you look elsewhere in the east of England region, in Cambridge, in places like Fenland, an over 70% vote. And in Norfolk, Great Yarmouth, over 70% vote for leave. Quite unbelievable that such huge turnouts and such huge backing to leave the European Union, nearly three years later, have been totally and utterly ignored and not delivered. But we're here to deliver a message of hope, of optimism, and we're saying to you, please don't give up. Please don't think your vote matters. Please don't think you're being ignored because we're not ignoring you. We're in the Brexit party. We are you. We are the people that campaigned for Brexit. We are the people that voted leave. We are the people that are now standing up for you. And that is why this European election is so hugely, hugely important. It is your chance to say that you will not be ignored. And you don't just believe in Brexit as much as you did in 2016, but you believe in it now more than ever. And let me tell you something. If we get that big delegation of Brexiteer MEPs the likes of Richard, the likes of June, backing up Nigel, and we take a significant role in the negotiations. People like Richard Tice, they're not going to get turned over by the, by the EU the way that our government have been. Absolutely no chance. The quality of the people we've got in the east of England and right across the country will stand up for the pro-leave majority. Yeah, yeah. And let me just tell you this as well. This doesn't begin and end next Thursday. Oh, no, no, no. The establishment might wish that, but if you look at some of the polling at the moment, level with the Conservatives in the general election, and even one poll that had the Brexit party ahead. And let me tell you something. If we can carry this on with the support of the people, we can, in Essex alone, I believe, take multiple parliamentary constituencies at the next Westminster election. This party is not going away. We're in it for the long haul. We're in it to stand up for democracy, to stand up for Brexiteers, to fight for what's right, and to show that we will not roll over and we will not be ignored by the establishment. It ain't gonna happen. So, let's be optimistic. Let's be passionate about the opportunities, the wonderful opportunities that Brexit can deliver for our country. And let's, next Thursday, stand up bold, proud, saying that we believe in Britain, we're voting for the Brexit party and we're fighting to win the European election. So thank you very much for your support, everyone. And we have just one more speaker now for you. You may have heard of him, Nigel. You know, he is truly, in my view, the godfather of the Leave movement. He is the governor of Brexit. Give him a huge welcome, please. It is Mr. Nigel Farage. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, Brentwood. I've been here before, not just to the Sugar Hut, but as a candidate in European elections. Can you believe this is the sixth time I've stood in European Parliament elections and I genuinely thought this wouldn't happen again and it shouldn't have happened again, should it? Because we voted in a referendum, we then supported political parties in a general election who told us they'd deliver Brexit. We then saw 500 MPs vote for Article 50 and it was there in law. 
We were leaving on March the 29th. There was no doubt about it. In fact, our brilliant Prime Minister... It's all right, she won't be there long. Our brilliant Prime Minister told us over a hundred times we were leaving on March the 29th. The Labour Party told us they would honour the result of the referendum. And what we have seen is the most extraordinary political stitch-up. It's the only way I can describe it. Our Parliament, our government are determined not to give us a clean break Brexit. Now, I spent 25 years campaigning for us to be free of European Union. I didn't want unelected bureaucrats in Brussels to have the say over how we should live our lives. And having seen the behaviour of Tusk and Barnier and Juncker in these negotiations, I think I was right for all that time. And frankly, given their arrogance and their bullying, the sooner we're free of this, the better, as far as I'm concerned. But we're here and we have an election to fight. And I made a decision towards the end of last year. I thought, I haven't spent 25 years fighting against the establishment, fighting for us to be a free independent country, to be rolled over by a group of dishonest career politicians. And that was where the inspiration came from. I said, right, I am gonna found the Brexit party. And five weeks ago tomorrow, we launched. And within five weeks, We've managed to get over 100,000 people in this country to pay £25 to become registered supporters. It's not a bad effort. And I have to say, we have spoken at a variety of places. We did one meeting in an airport hangar. We've done others in theatres. Last night, we were in a car park in, in the valleys of Merthyr Tidville, and today we're in a nightclub, so you can't say we don't get around a bit, because we do, um, and tonight we'll be speaking at a hall up in Wolverhampton. And what we found is tremendous energy and enthusiasm. People really want this. And what they want now is what I want. I got this wrong. I thought if we won the Brexit battle, our politicians would simply have to deliver it. I've now learnt that this battle is about far more than Brexit. This battle actually is about democracy. It's about whether we are a democratic nation. It's about whether we have a bond of trust between us and those that govern us. It's about how the rest of the world looks at us. You know, we used to be an admired country. This Prime Minister and our Parliament have turned us into a laughing stock. So what we need to do is not just next Thursday send a message back to Westminster telling them we still believe in Brexit, perhaps even more strongly than we ever did. What we have to do next Thursday is to begin a process whereby we break the existing two-party system. These two parties now serve nothing but themselves. They don't serve the national interest. Parliament does not reflect the will of the people of this country. And what we're doing is nothing less than we're launching a peaceful political revolution in British politics. Things have got to change fundamentally. We are utterly determined as a team to do that. I think we've got the most impressive and most diverse range of candidates that any party has ever put up for public office in this country. I'm proud to be leading the team to be leading the charge. I want us to win next week, but not just to win, but to win big. I want to give a seismic shock to Westminster and then to go on to Peterborough on the 6th of June and try and win our first seat in Westminster. And we will keep this campaign going until we get a parliament that actually keeps faith and keeps its promises with the British people. But we can't do it on our own. We need some support. We need some helpers. So let me ask you, the good people of Brentwood, are you with us? Yes. Will you go out there over the next week and tell everyone you know to go out next Thursday and vote for the Brexit party? Yes. And here in Essex, of all places, give them the message. The only way is Brexit. Thank you.